In this video, I'll explain how to log in to your LinkedIn account and your LinkedIn learning. Uh, they are two separate uh, sites, so you will have two separate authentications, and some students find it a little confusing. So I thought I'd do this video. So for step one is type in LinkedIn.com to go to the main LinkedIn page. And you've got an option to either join or sign in. So if you already have a LinkedIn account, of course, you can just uh, sign in. And if you haven't, you can join their site. Now, uh, if you sign in, you will have a couple of options usually. Uh, and this may look different than uh, the one that you get. Sometimes it offers you the ability to, to log in with um, uh, the Gmail as well. So if I go uh, sign in, sometimes it allows you to do Facebook or allows you to join or sometimes it... I have had the option that says log in with your Gmail account. So you're really going to have to just experiment on your own to see what it, it provides at the time. Now I already have an account. I've logged on this computer. So the computer kind of remembers who I am. So I can't really show you that Gmail option. But anyways, I'll just type in my um, email account for my LinkedIn account, which is just my Gmail account. And then I'm logging in to my... Uh, Let's see here. I'm going to log in with my here. I'll put it on pause for a moment. All right. So I type in my password and log in. I'm not going to remember. I don't want to remember it for this one. And I'm connected. So this is my personal LinkedIn profile that um, I think every student that uh, is in my classes should set one of these up if you haven't done so already. Uh, because the courses that I teach, I use LinkedIn uh, to help students for their professional portfolio and when you take um, as you take the class you'll be adding to this as you as you progress through the course all right now to get access to the LinkedIn learning up on the upper right hand corner of LinkedIn uh, they have this learning option here when you select it it'll try to log you in now because LinkedIn learning is a paid subscription and it costs I believe $25 US per month to access LinkedIn learning so Douglas College has bought a site subscription and it's very expensive so your your student fees part of your enrollment fees goes towards paying for this so I would highly encourage you to take advantage of this it's kind of like Netflix for education there's literally thousands of videos if not courses in here pertaining to many of your courses that you'd be taking at Douglas College these are third-party uh, professionally done courses by leading experts around the world now to access this you're gonna have to go into what they call the uh, sign in with single sign on so now the reason it's asking for this is because you have to connect using your Douglas College account now unfortunately I had already logged in so if I was to log out of this one it will ask me to sign in again here so let me pause and I'll try that again all right, try that again. Sign in with a single sign-on, and you will be presented with the Douglas College Central Sign-On page. Now, this is where you have to sign in with your uh, Douglas College authentication, so your username. Normally, the way that you sign in to a l regular uh, college computer. So, Now, as a faculty member, I have my, this is how I do mine. Uh, yours might be slightly different. So you will have to type in your Douglas College login authentication I think a lot of students are getting confused with this trying to think well how do I log into this you gotta think about what environment that you're in so right now I'm inside of my Douglas College and once I authenticate as my Douglas College it then connects my account with the LinkedIn learning and then accesses my LinkedIn learning and I have a full access now including all of the resource files everything here now w depending on the class that you're in of mine I have different collections so I have collections for different classes so if you're in my 1190 class you can um, I provided a link in the blackboard course it'll basically take you here and there's nine courses that I'm recommending that you have a look at if you're in the CSIS 2200 managing information systems uh, this is actually part of the assignments and this is how you access that so you can get started on taking these classes if you take a close look a lot of these classes are like one hour 33 minutes one hour 34 minutes this one's only 47 minutes now what's really nice about these is as you take a class let's say supply chain fundamentals 
what happens is you have to watch the video you have to answer questions and then once you complete that successfully at the end of your LinkedIn profile there will be um, there will be um, a place for you to um, post your certifications now because LinkedIn and LinkedIn learning are together they're there's one um, owned by one company one system when you get a a completed course in the LinkedIn learning it adds the badge in the LinkedIn profile so now I'm just trying to remember where to go to get that um, under it's under my profile so let's go back here and I should be able to access my profile view my profile there we go so this is, would be what the employer would see if they were looking at you as a potential um, candidate for a job they would see how active you are on LinkedIn and this is kind of the um, resume system that's being used nowadays and of course people still have their regular one so these are some of the ones I've done I've done introduction to quantum computing and you can see here there's a LinkedIn badge and it tells I did when I did that particular um, and whether it expires or not so I did that last year at the time of this recording um, and then you can look at more of these so you can see all the ones that I've done um, and then before that before LinkedIn it used to be called lynda.com and I had actually done some back then with lynda.com and these are all um, you know certifications that I feel that are uh, relevant to my my um, my job so I've taken these uh, I went through and I, I got a different certification this is actually a Microsoft certification called the uh, Microsoft um, technology associate in C sharp programming and then I did a C sharp in Linda did essential and so on you can see these Excel and this goes on a little bit further and then I did some uh, CompTIA certifications uh, I did an IC3 certification another MTA certification in network administration uh, PowerPoint one way back in the day you can see this is like years ago I've, I've been doing this for a while and this is what I would like students to do I'd like them to build their resume and pad it up with certifications now if you're in my 2200 or my uh, 1190 courses you will have a collection of these courses and these are courses I feel would be valuable for the course now I've gone through uh, LinkedIn learning and I've hand selected these that I feel are are relevant to the course materials and they supplement the course materials they're not they don't correlate with the learning objectives but they're very useful and they give you just a little bit more insight into the field and they don't take long I mean an hour and you know and a half you know instead of watching a Netflix movie you could knock one of these off and go through it and, and I found when I've done this with other students in the past uh, they actually became kind of addicted to this and they started going through these in their other courses so if you're taking other courses in marketing or accounting or computer science or whatever you're doing there are literally thousands like I said of courses that you can help supplement so if you need extra help in your online courses this is the place to go to get it done LinkedIn learning all right well I hope that's uh, that helps in explaining how to log in to the system and if you have any other questions you can always send me an email